Next up is the lollipop. A lollipop's huge boobs need to be balanced out, so a coat with pockets gives her broader hips. And finally, our goblet here. Don't be nervous now on this platform. <laughs> the goblet needs tops that halve her broad shoulders. Adding a very tight jacket gives her a waist. Susanna, come in, Susanna, over. You don't need to shout so loudly. All right, we've done our corner, and we're now going on to our pair, over. Okay, position two. Thick ankles. Think of Trini. Lots of ass. You need to come in a bit. And you need to come in a bit, and you need to go in a tiny bit. Aston Abbott in the um, Argus for a fun day out. And this is what I'm doing. <laughs> it's wonderful. At college, they just said they needed physically fit women to take part in a fun challenge. And then I phoned up and they were like, You're going to be turning the long man of Wilmington into a woman. Okay, ladies, so are we ready now to see our pair family? So, we'll first of all, I'm on board the pair. Wide trousers cover a pair's saddlebags. Frills expand her narrow shoulders, making them seem broader than her hips. Now the way that a skittle differs from a pair is her boobs are a bit bigger, okay? But she's still got a saddlebag issue. An A-line skirt skims a skittle's bottom and thighs. A necklace draws the eye away from her problem area. Come on, Belle! Come on, Belle! Oh, lovely Belle here. Donna didn't want to be a belle, but now she looks great in a jacket, which ends just below her short waist and not on her big bottom. Okay, so we've done the pair. Position number three. Apple. Okay, Trin, is it beginning to take shape? Right hand side needs to go out a bit. Push it out a bit towards the top. Okay, you need to go out a tiny bit, and then you stay, I think. I've known the long man since I was a little girl. I remember it when it was painted green during the war so that enemy planes wouldn't see it. And now the long man is seeing something quite different. I think they're on the druids down there, but I don't think it's their hill any more than anybody else's hill. Above the hill figure right are what I call the titty lumps, the burial mounds, but they do lo look like breasts, breast of the earth mother. So Trudy and Susanna could be right about this one. The apple needs tops that hide her tummy and low neckline that show off her beautiful skin. Garni, get off stage now. Thank, Thank you. you. Okay. The square brick needs softening with floaty feminine fabrics. Belting in the waist creates curves. And now we have the column. <laughs> Colour and pattern are effective at breaking up the column's long body. Curvy sleeves add femininity. under skirts that glide. A shrug balances her shoulders with her hips. And then our bars. Woo! These are sex. This is sex bombs, isn't it? Sex bombs. 
A pencil skirt sculpts the vase's narrow hips, and a bright belt brings attention to her tiny waist. We've done our shapes, so come back here. Are they lesbians, you ask yourself? Druid, the people thought was me. Ho, 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 ho.